There are so many ways to gather credits for ships, guns, modules and strap on dildo bazookas for your commander that many get quite baffled and only look towards the best and the fastest way to make as much moolah as possible. I mean, how else are you gonna get the fleet carriers that literally pose no purpose in the game and looks like a half-cooked idea for a credit sink instead of actually being an interesting addition to the game. So here goes the credit making guide on all the more common and more popular ways for elite. Throughout my rigorous testing and data collection, I present you my findings. Let's then start with the road to riches. This basically is you going out with the third party tool help to scan the most profitable celestial bodies as fast as possible. Throughout my testing, the current state of the game allows for about 18 to 19 million credits an hour. But if you stress it a bit more, thanks to my fellow creator Exegius, who did his own testing, you can reach up to 30 million an hour. Not bad, and all that without mapping planets. As for mapping planets, well, that seems to be very inconsistent, so I'll reserve my my judgment for now. Next in is combat, the thing that I used to like so much back in the day, but as it turns out, first, to make consistent cash, you need a very shield tanky ship with lots of damage, and that of course means that you need a heavy engineering to reach that best result, which is... 5 to 7 million an hour in hazardous resource extraction sites. Or if you choose to go to the pirate activity threat 7 thingamajig with a friend, of course, it's up to 10 million at best. Yes, bounty hunting is the lowest form of credit making in Elite Dangerous. This is heavily unbalanced, unfair, unreasonable, unjustified game design that I've ever seen. And even after notifying developers directly about this as a matter of fact, nothing has changed. So I would guess that this is intended and thus a very disgusting game design. Oh, and if you're heading to the pirate signal source thingamajig, remember that they do have engineered ships with phasing on them, so you will have to leave eventually, regardless. Thus cutting into your profitability, if you will. Okay, so bounty hunting is the definition of wasting your time, but maybe there is a combat option that works. Well, combat zones are a potential, but they are super boring, yet almost twice as profitable. What you do is healies for healies. I have made a video about this, so do go check it out if you want to perform it, but basically what you're gonna be doing is exploiting the living abortion out of engineering. Oh, wait, that's not an exploit, otherwise it would have been fixed, so it's intended! Anyways, what you need is less engineering than for bounty hunting too, so just get good weapons and a healing beam. Oh, and a friend. Now I know, I know, nerds don't really have friends, now do they? But we're all in quarantine right now, so finding a friend in many, many player groups for Elite Dangerous, or even my own Discord, should be no problem, so come on by. Basically, what you do is pick your friends, then pick a mission that tells you to kill one side of the conflict zone, plop your ships in the middle of that conflict zone, and then kill enemies with your long-range turrets, and then maybe heal each other once in a while, because those healies are just OP as hell and out-heal anything. And if you want to be a bit extra productive, I guess you could pick up uh, collector limpets to pick up materials from exploded ships. So there you go. This is boring. Yes, but the disgusting part is that you net around 25 million an hour, which is about twice as profitable as just going out there and actually doing something like fighting, flying, dodging, and so on and so forth. So just, you know, think about that for a moment. Now, what about the old gold mine, the Robigo and Seos passenger missions? What about those real money makers? Well, it used to be that you managed up to 60 million an hour doing either one of them about a year ago, but Robigo was more consistent, so let's pick that one. What you basically need is preferably Python with passenger cabins, business passenger cabins these days, then pick up missions that go from Robigo mines to Sotis atmospherics and then back. The whole trip takes about 10 minutes if you're super fast. But that's being on point all the time. So if you slack off, and trust me, you will, it will cost you. Missions are very random at times, but then again, everything else is nearly dangerous. So at this point, it's pretty much the most profitable thing that is random, right? Also, according to my fellow creator Herlev, who did his own testing on his own video, he claims upwards to 100 million an hour. So I went on to investigate. After some trips, it was clear that the missions are slightly more profitable, allowing 60 plus million an hour, but realistically, it will take you more than 10 minutes to do one trip, unless you're really tryharding, in which case, there are better ways. 
Now, speaking of the two creators I mentioned today, they too have done some wonderful investigating into mining after developers kinda nerfed it. So Paynight is out and low 10 diamonds are in. Now, you need a triple overlaying hotspot for this, but both Herlev and Exegius both report very steady and predictable profits out of this type of mining. And I speak of laser mining, not deep core. While Exegius did it in a wing, Herlev performed it in solo. Both netted over 200 million an hour. As for the basic ship setup, well, it's simple. Just lasers, good jump range, cargo space, collectors, a prospector, and that's basically it. Once you find a triple low 10 diamond hotspot, like in Boron system, just start mining. Once you had your fill, go search for a good place to sell the stuff for a good price. It can be done through EDDB or Inara, then Trow, and finally Profit. I'll have the links for both the videos of my peers who have done the investigations as well as mine and the supporting third-party tools, so do check it out. Oh, and you may say, well, then piracy may be good if the low 10 diamonds are in. N n nope. Uh, devs, either by mistake or more likely on purpose, have removed the low 10 diamonds from NPC cargo spawn list. Yes, now you won't find a ship that carries low 10 diamonds anymore. So piracy is literally dead now. I, I mean, well, more deader than it was already. Who imagined that? Hmm. So that's the general landscape of credit making in Elite. Very poor in many places with one outstanding method. Now, there are a few things I did not mention like trading that can still net around 5 to 15 million an hour. Or if you pick wing missions, then it may result up to 50 million. But that still needs testing. But overall, I'd rather pick just mining and be done with it, honestly. Now, I'm sure this video was helpful to a lot of you, so do toss a like and share it around. And if you feel more inclined, do subscribe to the channel. After all, I'm slowly inching my way towards the 100,000. Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh, and if you feel more inclined, well, hey, maybe check out the Patreon and merch store. But if you have found something interesting, a way to make cash or something else, do poke me in Discord, or just come and say hi. I'll be around. Let's then start with the tried and true road to riches. <laughs> oh, this is what I get for recording in the morning.